When you read other people code, how you, do you normally feel? Do you feel happy? <laughs> What's that? You tend to feel confused and angry, and I can assure you, you have these words that you say. What the f When you see code, it is like going to a room. Where do you feel most peaceful? A messy room or a clean room? I suppose the clean room because we instinctively like cleaner stuff. If you say you like the messy room, then go to the dirtiest toilet and take a sh. So here are five flutter clean coat tips that I've done and I'm going to share with you. First, refactor as you go. Meaning if you know you need to implement something similar, maybe three times, I think it's best for you to refactor. Don't refactor after you finish your feature. It's probably too late. So I have with me here an add button. With an add button comes with other two buttons that you usually need. The edit button and the delete button. However, they look very, very similar. But your feature is to finish the to-do list page. So you don't have time to refactor this add, edit and delete button. Even though they look very, very similar. Well, that's the wrong mindset. What you need to do if you see something where the widgets are very similar in design. For example, the flat button has a text widget and an on press. And then the edit button has the same thing with just a text widget. The delete button has the same thing. So this is a good opportunity for you to refactor. The second thing that you need to do is to use a named constructor. A name constructor basically means that you are able to create a widget but for different purposes. For example, the button that can edit, a button that can add, and a button that can delete, all placed in one widget. So what I did is to use named constructor in order for me to differentiate between the different actions I need for my buttons. So I have a link button that adds, a link button that edits, and a link button that deletes. How am I going to differentiate the different functions? I use enums. So enums are basically data types that can recognize the difference between the add, edit, and delete. So using the action enum, I'm able to create functions that returns me the required action text or action function. So if we were to look at action text, so the action text function takes in the action enum. We use the switch statement to return the required text that we need. So an action add enum will return us a add string an action edit enum will return an edit string and so forth. This will make your code much cleaner, smaller and more maintainable. Third, if you have a long ass conditional statement, name your condition. Reading words is easier to understand rather than figuring out what the conditional statement means. Reading words is easier to understand rather than figuring out what the conditional statement means. So I have with me here a bunch of conditionals. And the thing is, if I were to just put this kind of conditionals, you may or may not understand. So by having a variable that says, for example, not logged in user, go to settings, then you will return the different pages. This can be found in my Flutter web with Firebase course. I have a 25% off discount in my description. So by having your conditional statement as a variable, it's easy for you to read it. Instead of you reading like this, reading like this settings, instead of you reading the conditional statement. So for example, final not logged in user go to register. If I do not put this variable, you will read this settings name equals equals to this string and then you have this not is user logged in. So this might be confusing, but if you put into a variable, it is easier to understand. Number four, use objects as parameter, especially in a list type widget. This is when you have to fill up different elements and instead of having two lists of data, you can make it into a list of objects. This will reduce errors, especially index errors, and it's easier to reference the properties you need. So I have with me here a links list widget. And this links list widget requires the same number of names and the same number of links. 
However, if you were to do this, you can. You can just use a for loop and then inside your list style, you will just get the required name and link as an index. However, if you were to have five names and six links, this will then shout an error. So how do you avoid that? So what you can do is you can create a class that's called link detail and this will give you an object with the name and link property that we need to create our links list. So in our links list, now we have a list of the link detail and we can use the for in loop in order for us to grab the single element that we require to get the name and link property. If we were to have six link detail, then we will be returning six links detail. This will prevent us any index error and it will make the code so much readable. Lastly, comment when necessary. The best comment is a good name for a method or class. For you to comment in Dart, you can just put in three forward slash and you can type in the comment that you need. So in the link button, you could see that the comment here has been rendered for you inside Visual Studio Code. However, good comments doesn't need comments. So this is a useless comment. We know that this link button widget will return us a link button widget. We don't need a comment to say exactly what it is doing. So comments can be sometimes useful when explaining why something is being implemented in a particular way or when explaining complex algorithms when all other methods for simplifying the algorithm have been tried and come up short. So if the user doesn't know what action is required, you can put in a comment that says it consists of the add, edit, and delete enums for them to use. So this comment will be rendered. In summary, refactor as you go, use name constructors, name your conditionals, use objects as parameters, and comment when necessary. Remember, less is more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more of these videos. Comment down below any clean code tips I missed out. And that's all. Stay safe, have a nice day, and bye bye. <laughs>